Having a bandsaw in your shop adds a lot of different cutting capabilities to your to your arsenal. And the, you know, the table saw gives you right angle cuts. The bandsaw can add curved cuts as well as resawing and even safer ripping than you can do on a on a table saw. But let's look at the saw itself first and just understand how it works. Basically, the bandsaw is just what it sounds like. It's a big looping saw blade that's passing along these two wheels. And so it's spinning around, the blade is working down into the table, all the cutting happens down into the table, making it very safe. There's no possibility of kickback as there is on a table saw. There are a couple of settings you need to have set up before you can use the bandsaw. For instance, you have to have t proper tension on the blade, and you also have to set these guide bearings so that they control the lateral and side to side, or the lateral and, lateral and backward movement of the blade. So once those are set up, and that's different on every machine, um, then you're ready to saw. One of the main things you do have to adjust before you make any cut though is the height of the blade guard. So the blade guard can move up and down and it covers or exposes a, a length of blade depending on how thick of a piece of wood you're cutting. So if we're cutting a piece such as this one, you'd want to get the blade all the way down as far as possible without making contact. You want these bearings to be able to freely move. Get it very close and then lock it in place. What this does is it, it, it will limit the amount of deflection that can happen and so it gives you a better quality of cut. This, the accuracy will be much better. Um, plus it's safer, less blade exposed. There are a number of cuts you can make on the bandsaw, from ranging from curved cuts to resawing, which is basically tall ripping of wood. Um, and in order to do those various types of cuts, you have to decide beforehand what type of cut you're doing and which blade you're gonna put on the saw. So if you're doing a curved cut of any kind, you're gonna to wanna to figure out the, ma the maximum radius that it has and find the right blade. Essentially, the thinner the blade that you put on, the narrower the blade, the tighter radius of a cut you can do. So if I'm doing very tight curves, I'll put on this quarter inch blade. If I'm doing resawing, which is cutting through the wood vertically like this, you're gonna want a very wide blade. It's gonna to need to be as stable as possible. So at least three quarters of an inch wide, possibly one inch wide to do that kind of work. Now for general cutting, I keep a half inch blade on, on the bandsaw all the time, just for doing general ripping and cross cutting and some light curved pieces that works just fine. And so that's what I was gonna show you just now is how to just cur cut a, a, a curve in a piece of wood just by freehanding it. And if we were making a template out of this, one of the things I would do is cut slightly outside the line and then sand it down to make it perfect. But I'm just gonna go ahead and make the cut just so you can see what it's like on the bandsaw. So whenever you start a cut, you don't wanna be making contact with the saw when you turn it on, but I'll turn this on and then I'll slowly feed this into the blade and try and I'm gonna try and eyeball and just follow this line by steering the wood from behind as you're pushing it through. It's pretty intuitive. All right, let's turn on the saw. Okay, pretty fast cut, got my curved cut now. So if I wanted to use this for a template, I could bring it over to the sander and do some final shaping, getting rid of any little bumps, and then I'd be all set. Mm -hmm.